Okay. The Simple Wild series. Let's talk about it. These were amazing books. I'm going to start with the first and kind of go through it. But okay, so when I first bought this book, I had no idea it was a series and I'm so thankful that it was. Uh, and I'm really glad I kind of read it as I did. But okay, so the Simple Wild novel, hence why I thought it was just one. It was just a novel, not a series, I guess, uh, by K.A. Tucker. Uh, she actually lives just She lived just outside of Toronto. Um, so I'll read you the back. Calla Fletcher wasn't even two when her mom took her and fled Alaska, unable to handle the isolation of the extreme rural lifestyle, leaving behind Calla's father, Ren Fletcher, in the process. Calla never looked back, and at 26, a busy life in Toronto is all she knows. But when Calla learns that Ren's days may be numbered, she knows that it's time to make the long trip back to the remote frontier town of her birth to attempt to fix their strange relationship. She braves the uh, roaming wildlife, the odd day daylight hours, the exorbitant, me, the exorbitant prices, and even the occasional dear god outhouse, all for the chance to connect with her father, a man who, despite his many faults, she can't help but care for. While she struggles to adjust to this rugged new environment, Jonah, the unkempt, obnoxious Alaskan pilot who helps keep her father's charter plane company operational, can't imagine calling anywhere else home. And he's clearly waiting with one hand on the throttle to fly the city girl back to where she belongs, convinced that she's too pampered to handle this, handle the wild. Jonah's probably right, but Cal is determined to prove him wrong. At this, uh, as time passes, she unexpectedly finds herself forming a bond with a Bartley pilot. As a uh, undercurrent of disapproval dwindles, it's replaced by friendship, or perhaps something deeper. But Cal is not in Alaska to stay, and Jonah will never leave. It would be foolish of her to kindle a romance and take the same path her parents tried and failed at years ago. It's a simple truth that turns out to be not so simple after all. So this was an amazing book about this girl from Toronto, well not even, like, who lived in Toronto her whole life, minus the first two years, was born in Alaska, estranged from her father, um, great life in Toronto, and then decides to go to Alaska, of all places, um, to visit her father, and this whole story just evolves, like, immensely. Um, I cried at some point in the book, I think near the end. Uh, I like to get really involved in a book, so that means I feel as they feel, which, I don't know, call me crazy, I really like it and I cry in a lot of books just because I really, I, I try to involve myself in the book um, and that's how I like to read and that's why I enjoy reading. Um, but, so this was the first one, amazing. I didn't, I thought that was the end and I was like, oh man, like I wish there was more, but like it's a story, I get it. And then I stumbled upon the second book which was Wild at Heart. And I was like, no shit, there's a second one. And I ordered it right away and it came in. And I actually think I waited to read it for a little bit because I was in the middle of another book. Um, but I'll read you the back of this one. If you don't like to hear about series before, I don't know what to tell you, but okay. So Wild at Heart, obviously still by K.A. Tucker. Uh, Keller Fletcher returns to Toronto a different person. Struggling to find direction and was still and still very much in love with the rugged bush pilot she left behind. When Jonah arrives at her doorstep with a proposition she can't diminish, she takes the leap and rushes back to Alaska to begin their exciting future together. But Calla soon learns that the best intentions can lead to broken promises and that compromises come with hefty price. A log cabin in rural Alaska that feels as isolating as the western tundra. With Jonah gone more than he's home, one neighbor who insists on transforming her into a true Alaskan, and another who seems more likely to shoot her than come to her aid, Cal uh, grapples with foraging her own path. In a world with roaming wildlife and, has her, and that has her constantly watching over her shoulder in harsh conditions that stretch far beyond the cold, dark winter months, just stepping outside her front door can be daunting. This is not the future Kala had in mind, leaving her to fear that perhaps she's doomed to follow her mother's fleeting footsteps after all. Amazing. I loved how how it developed and how I, I as much as I knew kind of what was going to happen, just like based on reading books, like you kind of get a usually you can get a feeling, but not every turn, but like in a long term, it kept me like so intrigued that um, when I saw that there was a third book, I had ordered it right away. Like it came out this month. It is a fresh book. It's a lot smaller. It's called a novella, which I personally... I don't know what that really means is different. It's a continuation of the story. Maybe it's just the fact that it's smaller. Um, so again, if you don't like to hear about the third book when you haven't read the first two, don't listen to this. But 
Uh, the holidays, so this one's Forever Wild, and the holiday season is upon, upon Cal and Jonah, and with the mistletoe and gingerbread comes plenty of family drama. Jonah is bracing himself for two weeks with the stepfather he loathes, and while Cal is looking forward to her mother and Simon's arrival, she dreads the continued pressure to set a date for their wedding in Toronto. <gasps> wedding. <laughs> Add in one bullheaded neighbor's unintentional meddling, another uh, cantankerous neighbor's own family strife, and Christmas and Trapper's Crossing will be anything but simple. I... Honestly, this whole series, it really left me feeling fulfilled with the story. Um, I think it's great, especially if you're in your mid-20s, like that's who the character's development's around, so it's everything that's super relatable, from being in a job that you think that you like, trying a side hustle, moving somewhere new, starting a life, fighting a partner, deciding that's the right step. Like, this was an amazing book that where I'm at in my life, like, I thought it was super relatable as well. Um, and actually, with all the character development that happened, even in the side characters, she actually decided to, I don't know if it's going to be a series or just a book, but she's going to be creating um, another storyline based on one of the characters in it to give that character a chance to develop more as well, which I think is super cool. So if you're looking for your next book to read and you like kind of like a exciting romance, um, this, I couldn't recommend it enough. This was amazing. So definitely, definitely give this a thought and give it a read. Okay. See you guys.